What's up, YouTube? Danny B. NH Guy. Today's Monday. Um, yeah, I still have another week off of work uh, to recover from my uh, surgery, guys. So I want to go out and thrift every single day to see how it is because I never get a chance to do it because I have a full-time job, guys. So I decided to hit the streets this morning. I went to the Goodwill Huts in New Hampshire, guys. I spent $50.15 after a 20% off discount. And... Um, I did really good. I didn't buy too many things, but um, what I bought, I should be able to make some good money, guys. Um, first up is this, uh, taking a little gamble on this, but this is a vintage Rods Auto Service, Broom Mall, Pennsylvania. And um, it's kind of worn out on one side, but this is a milk, I, think, I believe it's a milk glass mug. And uh, it's vintage, and I think this is gonna sell, guys. Um, like I said, uh, I think it's gonna sell hopefully about 20 bucks and uh, I'm gonna probably put this on auction, maybe starting at 25. See what happens, guys. It was less than a dollar and um, yeah, 80 cents. So I'm gonna take a little Kevin Gamble on this, guys. Next up, um, this was there last time, but I didn't look at it really. I didn't uh, investigate it, but um, this time around I saw it again and I looked it up. This is called Rosie Oh, Grady's Good Time Emporium, guys. And this is, uh, there's a few listings on eBay for this, but there's no mugs. And um, this is definitely vintage. It's got some uh, crazing underneath the surface, guys. But um, I think someone's going to pick this up, guys. I'm going to probably start this at 30 bucks. Um, I paid up for this, so this was 240 after the discount. But um, yeah, I'm going to try to get at least 30 bucks for this mug, guys. Uh, next up is a uh, shirt I'm going to have to pre-treat a little bit. But um, this is a flea market that I like to go to. This is Londonderry, New Hampshire, guys. So this is a Londonderry, New Hampshire flea market men's polo shirt. Let me just get it buttoned up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, guys. Londonderry, New Hampshire flea market. Let's get the big graphic on the back. And I just noticed another stain on the front. But um, I think I can get that out, guys. I'm hoping I can. And uh, if I can get this nice and clean, guys, I'm going to ask 25 bucks for it. But um, I probably wouldn't have bought it if I noticed that new stain I just saw. But it looks like mustard. And I'm going to try to get it out, guys. And this is on a uh, Stedman Haynes tag. I haven't seen that tag before. So this is definitely a little gamble. Okay, the rest of this, well, this right here, this is, might be a little gamble too, um, but I I only saw one of these on eBay. This is the Andrew Benatendi men's Red Sox t-shirt, Majestic. And um, I think they're asking close to 30 bucks for it. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if there's any sold listings, but... Uh, I haven't seen any of his jerseys yet. This is a good size. It's in really good shape. Um, two extra large guys. So if I can get 25 bucks for this, I'll be pretty psyched. This here is a vintage single stitch um, Massachusetts State Police men's polo shirt, guys. And uh, this is definitely old school. And um, I think there's one of these on uh, eBay for a different, but it's a different size. And um, I think it was close to 30 bucks, guys. So gonna make sure this doesn't have any stains on it. Looks pretty, looks pretty clean from here. But um, yeah, guys, vintage state police men's polo shirt, single stitch sleeves. Hopefully, 25 to 30 bucks. This is a nice little find, guys. These are uh, Power Rangers shorts by Chalkline. And there's nothing like this on eBay, guys. This is the green Power Ranger. Um, his name is Tommy, the green Power Ranger, guys. So there's nothing like this on eBay. And um, I'm probably going to start these pretty high, guys. I might even go like uh, 75 bucks or something. 
And um, I paid four dollars and uh, eighty cents for them. So that'd be pretty sweet if I could get uh, over fifty bucks for these guys. And um, last but not least, when I was checking out, I looked over to my left, and they have a. Uh, they have the hand-picked items over on the side, and I saw this Betty Boop doll. And I got closer to it, guys, and I realized uh, this is brand new, with still with the tag. This is from 1997. There's nothing like it on eBay. There's nothing like it online, as far as I know. So uh, it still plays. It plays music, guys, and it dances. So check this out. All right, guys, so this is the real deal Holyfield. This thing works, it dances, it sings. Um, I paid $20 for it, guys. So there's nothing like this online. I'm probably going to start this at $100 or $99 on auction. And uh, see what I can get for it, guys. Still new with the tag. Thing works great. And uh, there's a lot of Betty Boot fans out there. So that's why I pulled the trigger on it, guys. I'm going to get this thing listed ASAP. And... Uh, I'll keep you guys posted if I sell it. But, um, yeah, I'm glad I went out this morning, guys, and I uh, found some good stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.